There was a study conducted saying that nice smells make for better dreams. And even if that's just one study, I figured it would still be nice to have a nice smelling bedroom. So my end goal here is to grow some lavender in there. The problem is, here up north we only get a few hours of sun in the winter and the opposite in the summer. And that's why I keep my bedroom at a comfortable pitch black the year around. It's good for sleep, but not so great for plants. And obviously I could buy some ready-made grow lights, but uh, it's more fun to do stuff yourself. Especially when you have a bag full of LEDs laying around. So here's the thing I came up with. Two parts. Put some LEDs in here. And uh, in here I can put a small connector. And then uh, the back comes on and you just screw it in. I'm gonna put the positive uh, side on the right side. There we go. Let's start with the blue ones. Because they're pretty easy, you can just bend the legs down. For the uh, red ones, I'm gonna need to cut them. Now I know I'm bending them a little bit uh, too close, but uh, these little LEDs are like one cent each if you make them from China, so it doesn't, doesn't matter that much if one of them breaks. There we go, now I should be able to, so so to uh, solder these. Just gotta be careful not to touch the plastic, though the soldering iron isn't that hot this time because I'm not using uh, unleaded solder. But this is uh, PLA. It's actually transparent PLA, but it didn't turn out very transparent. Gonna see if I can get a better camera angle on this. Both the positive leads should be connected to each other and uh, the negative ones should be on uh, should be through resistors and then together. I'm gonna solder a small lead onto this just to make it easier to uh, connect it to the JST connector that I'm gonna be adding later. And because I'm cheap, I'm just going to use some electric tape. Should be good enough. 
So next up, I'm gonna need some resistors and some uh, black wires. Now originally I was running this at uh, 12 volts, but the red LEDs would barely light up at all because the um, forward voltage would change whenever I turned them on, and I would leave uh, like around 100 millivolts after the um, LEDs uh, wired in series, the, the six red ones. So I could probably have done that if I uh, used uh, five of these LEDs, but with six it didn't, didn't quite work out, so I'm going uh, for 15 volts instead. That way I didn't have to redesign the entire case. I'm going to put the 220 ohm resistors on these. I believe that should give uh, around uh, 20 milliamps. But in practice it's actually going to give around 15 milliamps because of the changing forward voltage of the uh, red LEDs. That should work. Oh hey, that one wasn't actually 220. I'm gonna have to change that one. There we go. So I'm gonna add on the uh, resistors for the blue wires. Or the blue LEDs. Somehow the smoke is going directly for the camera. I wonder what that is. For the blue LEDs, I'm going to be using 330 ohms. And now I need to isolate all of the, uh, the resistors. Yeah, that should do. Just plug plug in a wire. Oh, 
There we go. Now it's just a question of gluing it in. I'm gonna see if I can use some traditional glue for this. Well, that's going to have to sit for a few hours. So that's about uh, 170 milliamps. So it's not uh, exceedingly bright, but uh, it's still pretty decent. I think it should be enough for, for one potted plant, I hope. Around 2.6 watts. Before trying with the lavender, I thought I'd give the grow light a spin by growing some dill. Because as Swedes, we put dill on a lot of things. Six days later, the seeds had sprouted and reached the lamps, so I had to design and print a couple of stands. Though, keep in mind that the dill was not only exposed to my grow lights, but they also did get a few hours of indirect sunlight each day through my window. This probably means that I'm going to need more light whenever I do part two of this experiment, which is to grow lavender in my bedroom. This is around two months worth of growing. And I think it's time to harvest a little bit. I'm gonna set it back in the window and see if it keeps growing. I'm gonna try the dill with my fish and shrimp sauce recipe. I'm gonna see how it turns out. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description. Yep, that's pretty good. Now that I know I can grow dill, I want to give lavender a try. For this I'm going to need stronger lamps and a pump since I also want it to water itself. I've ordered some parts for this experiment, but the Swedish postal system is notoriously bad for imports, so it probably won't be here until mid-April at the earliest. In the meantime, there will be more recipes and other experiments to be made. Feel free to subscribe or following me on Twitter at JazzDoge.